Hi, it's Pyam here from Niche Advice. Just a quick update. Um, let's talk about the interest rate changing. And now the uh, Bank of England has announced that the interest rate will be going up from 0.25 to half a percent. And what that actually means for mortgage clients, uh, whether you're existing mortgage client or your perspective, someone who's looking to get a new mortgage, how does that affect you all? So we've had the announcement that the interest rates have risen from 0.25 to half a percent. Now that can have uh, major impacts on some of the people, some of the clients that have maybe got tracker mortgages, for example. So if you're on a tracker rate, which is uh, tracking the Bank of England base rate, what that means is your interest rate will be going up by 0.25%. Um, and they will probably write to you in the next day or so. They're very quick to write to you. When it's, when it's going back up, they'll write to you straight away and they'll do everything they can to make more money. So what would happen is your existing lender will probably write to you to say, look, you know, your interest rates are going to go up by this amount and this is your new amount and they'll give you a date the interest rates will going up to. Um, so anybody on a tracker rate, if it's tracking the Bank of England base rate, that's what's going to happen to them. Um, another problem within that is um, the follow-on rates are probably likely going to change. So lenders that have got follow-on rates, say it's if it's 3.5%, it will go higher by 0.25%. So it's not just um, the, the initial rate, the tracker rate, it's the people that are going to come off their fixed rates, for example, that maybe are going to go on the lender's rates. If it's tracking the Bank of England base rate, they will go up as well. And what you will find is lenders will probably review their own standard value rates and those will be affected as well so lenders their own rates whether they've got their own rates in there they tend to be tracking uh, certainly if it's going the other way for them if it's going for them they'll tend to uh, push those rates up and that could have a, a, a number of uh, consequences really first of all obviously your mortgage payments if you are uh, on those rates on the tracker rate or a follow-on rate will go up if you want a fixed rate mortgage then nothing will happen okay so uh, thankfully you've locked into a hopefully a lower rate and then it's really amount about you know how long you got that fixed rate for and then when your follow-on rates uh, are, are available to you so you've got to watch out there you've got to double check to see when your fixed rate period uh, runs out and certainly three to six months before that start planning what your options are you know whether you're going to stay with the lender and see what rates they can provide you they normally open those new rates existing client rates up about three months before uh, your your fixed fixed term is going to run out if you're going by a mortgage broker i know we do we communicate uh, to our clients a few months beforehand to say look you know your rate's going to come up these are your options you can stay with the existing lender and do a product transfer or we could look at um, alternatively sourcing another lender for you to see if there's anything better out there for you um, and you've got to look at your own options are you looking to keep the same mortgage balance are you looking to um, pull, pull some more money out maybe to do some home improvements so that's the time to think about things like this um, another consequence this is a consequence that's for first-time buyers or people that are looking to purchase properties new properties um, and the, the, the there's two issues when rates go up okay one lenders have to do their affordability um, affordability test on the higher rate okay so um, what you will find is affordability is going to be hit um, so that will make that may you know you, you might have been able to afford the deal last month or today or yesterday but maybe from the and the new rates because they've gone up maybe your affordability has been hit so it's worth uh, if you are in the middle of the process or you've done some affordability or initial checks for you to rerun those checks or get your broker to rerun the checks for you because just because it was uh, affordable a couple of months ago it may not be the that affordable with that lender anymore so that's one thing another thing is um, which is again to do with affordability ONS figures okay so um, a lot of the lenders behind the scenes they run their own calculations or they buy in calculations from the national uh, office of national statistics now those ONS figures often get um, uh, reviewed once a year with some of the lenders so it doesn't matter if you say uh, my supermarket shop is going to be 200 pounds they're going to look and they're going to go right the average figure for a household of I don't know four um, I don't know, husband and wife and two kids actually the supermarket shopping is 400 pounds on average so it doesn't matter what you say they will use that 400 pound figure and guess what guys what's happening with the energy bills at the moment so unfortunately when those onus figures starts 
been implemented within the lender's affordability calculators of, you know, when you're when you're reading on the or you're watching the TV and you're saying, oh, yeah, the gas bills are going to be go up through triple. That's going to have an impact on the affordability. So unfortunately, you've got uh, you've got the higher interest rates. Uh, and they will feed through, whether it's through new products that are going to come out that are going to be higher or the stress testing that's going to be done on a higher rate. But also these ONS figures coming in with cost of living going up and utility bills and things like that going up, um, that will start putting pressure down on the affordability check. So it's vital, first of all, if you are going for a mortgage, you take all of that into account. You provide your broker or if you're going to do it yourself, you have an understanding of what's needed because every lender treats things differently. Every lender's got a different follow-on rate. Every lender's got a different way of they look at affordability. And I've done multiple videos on, on mortgage affordability. But these two aspects are major. Interest rate rise, as well as the onus figures kicking in with the higher, uh, higher costs, will have an impact on mortgage affordability going forward. So whether you're going for a new mortgage or a remortgage, make sure you speak to an independent mortgage broker and get them to do a lot of the affordability calculations for you. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.